Body Snatchers to Hit Music Station, jazzradio.com. I'm your man, Detroit Piccolo, with you, better known as Brian Piccolo, better known as Pastor Nelson. We're going to do all three of them today, right here on jamsradio.com. As I told you earlier, guys, I got a great interview that I'm getting ready to perform with Bishop Jones and Pastor Jones. That's Paulette Jones and Bishop James Jones Jr. Right here with me on jamsradio.com. As you know, I'm live on location at Mama Joan and Son's Kitchen in Baked Goods. So, Bishop, I got you here finally. Now, Bishop and I and Pastor Jones and I, we go back so many years uh, in the ministry, and uh, they're giving an event, an evening of music, right? Exactly. Right. So, Bishop, what we got going on? Talk to me. Well, we're going to have some great music. we got a, a group coming out of Lansing. It's going to be a great time. It's free for everybody to come and join us and have a great time. Okay, now it's going to be a free event. This is uh, ministry-based, okay? So Michelle Miller Bell and her band, they're going to be there performing. Now, I went on YouTube, checked her out. She's got a got nice vocals, and she, she's spiritual and highly favored in her vocals. And so with that being said, Pastor, now, um, you know, when I first met you guys was years ago. Like I say, you guys did a women's conference. Uh, this was years ago. You did a women's conference. And I happened to be the only man there besides Bishop. And I was ready to go. But uh, uh, back in the day with uh, Pastor Felicia and those, I was so ready to go. And I looked around, there was Bishop. Oh, okay. But it was a women's conference. You do those often, correct? Yes. Uh, the name of uh, the well, the name of the organization is called Women No Longer Bi No Longer Bound Women's Outreach Ministries, helping women to walk in their destiny. All right, now she sounds very passionate about that. Yes, absolutely. So. Absolutely. You know, because women, uh, a lot of us, a lot of women are suppressed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we don't understand who we are, although we can look at another person and see their gifting. But sometimes we don't know mm -hmm. uh, our gifting. Mm -hmm. So that's a part of the organization is to help us understand who we are and who God called us to be and what purpose he wanted us to have uh, in ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's awesome right there. So what's the name of that organization once more? No longer bound women's outreach ministries, helping women to walk in their destiny. All right. Now, you plan on giving another one of those conferences soon? Because it's been a minute. Have you given one recently? No, I have not. But we are um, in the planning stages for uh, sometime next year. Yeah, in 2023. Now, 2023 is going to be an awesome year for so many people. I believe that the portal is wide open right now. I do. I believe that God has uh, got the portal wide open. And while the portal is open, blessings flow. You can grab things out. You can do some things versus the portal being closed right, right? right yeah so with that being said bishop now uh you guys are doing this big function what inspired you to come up with this one here well you know i just believe that uh the saints ought to get together so many churches in detroit uh and sometimes when you're in concerts and things like that a lot of people don't know uh, who you are or you don't know who they are so we put an invite out for everybody so we can get to fellowship and know each other and sometimes when they come to the concert and things like that it might be pastors or lay people there that can give their address and we can go support them and they can support us you know just uh, a way to, to meet and greet okay now that's going to be awesome so once again that's going to be october the first at the tcbc hall right 8031 Tireman in Detroit, Michigan, there on the west side. Now, now, that because I did a prayer breakfast there about four years ago uh, with, um, what's it, Steve, 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 Pastor Steve over there. So, yeah, how you been, how long you been knowing Pastor Steve? That's my man. Shout out to Pastor Steve, and I'm going to call him and tell him to make sure he listens to this so he can get excited, because he's a little short cat, and he like to get excited, but that's my man. I love Bishop. I love him, Bishop. So, what, what about him? How, what's the relationship like? Man, I love Pastor Steve, man. He's a busy guy. He stays busy. He got a lot going on. He's done a lot of things. He's been a blessing to us mm -hmm. and a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. And I pray for him every day to God to continue to bless him because, I mean, he wear all the hats. He, I mean, and, <laughs> and he really tries to help the smaller churches to help yeah. them get on. And then when they get on, it's, he's just been a blessing. There ain't enough I can say about him. Blessing to yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pastor Steve is an awesome person. Now, does he still have a lot of limos? I know in the back he yes, got like a yes, thousand yes, limos yes, back yes, there. He, he yes, yeah, yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> he he is a a um, a, a a pastor who wears 
a ton of uh, many hats, mm -hmm. many hats. Yeah. So that's what happens when you come from down south, coming up uh, north there a lot. You come to the north with a lot of hats, you know, because he's from down south, and uh, he, he carries that persona of, of good loving. You know, us people from down south, we love, we love a lot harder, I think, than the city folks do. Yeah. That's just my opinion. Oh, but okay. uh, hospitality is great with Steve. So Pastor Steve, shout out to you once again, man. Um, so what else is going to be? Uh, taking place, are you going to have prayer service there uh, at the event or is it just concert style? Well, it's going to be a gospel concert. We're going to open up with prayer, of course. And of course, we're always going to leave those doors open for someone that might hear some music and want to turn their life over to God because we have so many youth and young people that are being killed today. And so we want to put a blessing on them before we dismiss and all that type of thing. So yeah, just so why what's who's going astray and what's on that part? Well, I believe this. The Bible says to go out and compel men to come. I do not believe that you just sit and wait for people to come to church because most people tell you, well, I'm not ready to go to church yet because I got to get myself right. You can't get yourself right until you get that gospel message in you, which is the good news, and let God do the confirmation in you. So we have to go out and compel people to come. You don't see nobody passing out tracks no more except the Seven Day Adventists and and uh, uh, maybe uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and things like that. But mm -hmm. we got to get back on our A game too and mm -hmm. go out to the highways and the hedges and bring them in. Right, Amen. right, right. That's very important, mothers um, and sons, uh, daughters, everybody. We and we want to get more closer to uh, the Lord. I mean, you have to not uh, fall short. Other comings of the Lord. What he has blessed us with, we need to actually walk in that. Wouldn't you agree, um, Pastor? Absolutely. I, you know, I believe that in this season, well, it's been a long season, but God is really raising up his remnant churches right now. Um, and what we need to do is, is prayer. Nothing can happen without prayer. So I believe that, you know, we need to unite in the city of Detroit. All the churches need to come together underneath one roof mm -hmm. and begin to cry out to the Lord and pray and ask God you know, come in and, 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 and to intervene. And that makes perfect, perfect sense. We're talking today with Bishop James Jones, Jr. And we're talking with Pastor Pauline. It's Paulette. Why do I want to say Pauline? Because my seamstress is a Pauline. <laughs> I'm thinking about the epistles. But yeah, Paulette is what it is. Pastor Jones, I call you Pastor. We, we just keep it keep it simple. Yep. And uh, we're just going to keep it simple like that. But but we're excited today and we're filled with great expectations uh, that everybody come to know the Lord yes. at the end of the day. You know, yes. it's whatever you're doing, you know, God gives you all means and reasons to do things. But he asks that you follow him in all your ways correctly in all your ways. Follow him, you know, acknowledge him exactly. So, yeah, and so this is what I'm doing on today. You know, our show uh, on Sundays, I have 6 a.m. in the morning till 12 noon. We do our Sunday Inspirations, and it plays nothing but the spiritual gospel there. And throughout the week, you know, I play the spiritual gospel. So I think that music is the, uh, it's the remedy to the spirit of the soul. I don't know. It's, it just does something. That's why you're giving the concert, right? Because that music does draw and when you have them on one accord, then you can speak to their spirits, yeah, right, 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 in such a way. So this is a good remedy on how to, because people love music. Yeah. And that's why I decided to get back into music and then use the power of prayer and my, uh, you know, my spirit, my energy to draw them in, right? That's right. So that's, that's right. what we're doing with body snatches. They say, oh, body snatches, why you call it that? That's why I call it that. Right, exactly. Because you're taking them out of one situation Snatching them out of that Amen. and bring them into a positive, more holy, a Amen. more spirit filled right. situation. Holy yeah, yeah, uh -huh. when, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's why I call it <laughs> body snatchers. Snatch them up. Snatch them up. So yeah. I'm here live on location. Look here, we're going to go into, a, um, well, I'm going to go into this one song. Shout out to all the Clark sisters there. I know you guys are listening because I told you to listen. And I told you that I was going to have Bishop and Pastor on today. So shout out to you guys. And I'm going to go to your song right now, Ye Shall Receive. This is one of their latest songs. Uh, Jackie likes when I play this one here. So, Jackie, we're going to send this one out to you as I sit here with Bishop and Pastor Jones on today. So we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 